gosh, the seasons are changing and I gotta get the right wines for this summer. Same? <laughs> okay, perfect. Good thing. Today, we're doing a top 10 video. The top 10 red wines for summertime. Actually, these will be great wines for both those late spring days and evenings and all the way through till late summer and even into the early fall. Here we're going to take the guesswork out of which wines would be perfect to purchase. I'm not going to show any specific wines. We'll look at different varietals uh, you want to be purchasing. Uh, these will be varietals that pair well for the heat of the season and the foods of the season. You know, all the wine experts and gurus tell you which specific wines to purchase for the summer. Uh, that's great, but what if you can't afford it? Or if it's too cheap? Or you can't even find it? While I personally enjoy phenomenal wines under $15, I don't want to superimpose my financial expectations on you. So I'm going to stay more general by giving you the top 10 varietals or categories for the summer. At the end of the day, most of the gurus just waste your time giving you specific wines because they want you to purchase it from them. Now, while I would like you to purchase my wine, the reality is it's not about me, it's about you. Now, after watching this video, you'll have 10 phenomenal varietals to choose from. Hopefully one or even a handful will pique your interest. Then you can either go to my site and purchase the wine uh, that meets your particular needs and your personal budget uh, in that particular varietal, or you can go to the store and get it there. But I have to say, I believe you'll find my price is better. And also, I have a much wider selection than either your wine shop or your grocery store. All right, are you ready for the top 10 red summertime wines? To save you time, I do a quick introduction of each varietal and give you a couple of highlights of each of the wines because I want you to make sure that you have time to put a good list together. I'll also give you some guidelines for food pairings. Now keep in mind, at any time if you find the information helpful, click like, uh, subscribe, and hit the little bell to be notified when I have a new post. By the way, I want to clarify a couple things up front. First. This is not a countdown from 10th best down to number one. Instead, I've actually organized the varietals for this video from the lightest to the heaviest. The second thing is I'm not going to touch on Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Malbec. Everybody knows about these wines and uh, they're on the heavier side of the spectrum. For me, they just aren't the, the greatest summertime options. Well, except for uh, maybe those evenings, not, not afternoons, but evenings when you're cooking out on the grill. Anyway, the wines that I'm suggesting uh, won't fight the heat and they won't fight the typical summertime foods. You ready? Here we go. Number one, frappato, or some call it frappato. Uh, this is a tough one to find. You're probably not going to find it in your local supermarket or big box store. This is one that none of your friends will have, and it, if it sounds interesting to you, check my website, which is linked in the description below. <laughs> you know, perhaps this is the lightest red wine that can still be considered a red as opposed to a rosé. Frappato is a Sicilian grape, uh, that's in Italy, and uh, exhibits the color of wildflowers and even uh, picks up some of the taste of those flavors. Uh, as you can see, it has a little minerality to it for a nice backbone. You can see a little information about the tannins, its body, and its flavor profile. Frappato is about as refreshing as a red wine can get. This works extremely well when served slightly chilled. As you can see, with food, it's extremely light, versatile wine. It can stand on its own and, and it's truly a summer porch powder or while hanging out on the beach. Number two is a favorite of many, Pinot Noir. Grown throughout the world, look first to the Burgundy region of France, then on to Oregon and California. Uh, Pinots feature the juicy complexity without the gigantic tannins or big bodies like Cabs and uh, many of the other big reds. 
Its light, pleasant mouthfeel makes it ideal as an early start to any meal, and it appeals heavily to uh, red wine lovers who aren't attempting to keep things a little on the lighter side. Now, as you can see, with food, Pinots are very versatile. Number three, Zweigelt. Uh, while you may not have heard it, Zweigelt uh, is the most popular red grape in Austria. Uh, this is another one that you're not going to find just anywhere. It has an incredible uh, explosion of uh, both sweet and sour notes to it. It's bright and fruity. Uh, these wines have a little bit of sparkle or carbonation to them, uh, which is called fizzante. Uh, it's uh, similar to the Pinot Noir with uh, an added light, sort of spicy note. This light red wine pairs well with just about everything at a picnic. I love it with salty meats like grilled sausages. Number four is Lambrusco. Uh, Lambrusco is primarily an Italian wine. Uh, this is another one that's a little tough to find, but it's a fun summertime wine. Like the Zweigelt, uh, this has some fun fizz to it. Uh, the bubbles really refresh your palate. Whether you're going to my site or a wine shop, uh, make sure you're asking for the dry version of this. It will say Seiko or dry on the bottle. Uh, it comes from sweet to dry, but the Seiko is the dry and goes with many more dishes. Uh, you may uh, want to serve it uh, very cold. Number five is Beaujolais. These come from the center of France. They're a popular summer wine made from the Gamay grape. It's got great flavor and body, and as you can see, Beaujolais can pair well with practically any protein from barbecue beef to various types of seafood. Actually, the pricier Beaujolais have more tannin than uh, what you're looking for uh, for a hot summer day. Get outside and enjoy the summer sunshine with this one. Is this information helpful? If it is, let me know about it, or just write Top reds in the comments below. Number six, Barbera. I didn't have my first Barbera until about 2002. You can find it from many places around the world. However, uh, Italy is my default country. This is one of the best summer wines for the evening and is extremely drinkable. As you can see, it's unique. Barbera is the wine that many winemakers throughout Italy drink rather than export. Uh, this is the grape which typically is reserved for the fantastic Barolo and Nebbiolo wines. Barbera is relatively affordable compared to most of the reds and it's perfect alongside burgers or a slice of pizza or maybe two. Number seven is Grenache. Now bear with me a minute because this one has some layers to it. Grenache is known as Garnacha in Spain. Here you can see a little bit about its body and profile and its pairings, but the Spanish native grape is actually more known for the wines it produces in the southern Rhone River Valley of France, uh, which is Chateauneuf de Pop, uh, and that being the most famous of, of the wines with Grenache in it. Chateauneuf is made with the Grenache grape along with a couple of others and tends to be a little bit bigger wine, but the simple Côtes de Rhone from the same area are made from the same grapes and are a perfect summer wine for a quarter of the price. Now the Garnacha wines from Spain are the best bang for your buck uh, from this particular grape. Uh, whether it's Garnacha from Spain, Grenache from France, Chateauneuf de Pop, or Côte de Rhone, each of the four variations and blends of this wine can be enjoyed on their own or with most outdoor grilled foods, roasted meats, and spiced veggies. Number eight, Sangiovese. This is the primary grape from Chianti region of Tuscany, Italy. Honestly, of all the wines I'm listing in this video, I think Chianti wines are the wines you should be looking for first. Uh, go to my website and filter by Sangiovese. Uh, check out the, the profile and pairings also. With this wine, your cookout will be an absolute success. Number nine, Tempranillo. Two words you're looking for on the bottle. 
Crianza and Rioja. Perfect choice for a patio or deck. Great as a cocktail wine with its juicy red fruit profile. Uh, there's enough structure to, this, to stand up to uh, most any item coming off the grill. Like Sangiovese from Tuscany, uh, there are endless uh, wines made from the Tempranillo grapes from Spain. Number 10, Blau Frankish. <laughs> I, I love to say that word, Blau Frankish. Uh, th this is from Austria and is truly unique, uh, but uh, not that easy a, a wine to find. Of course, I have several of these on my site. Uh, when you find it, support that supplier. This is a wonderful wine. Uh, I see this paired with uh, summer barbecue all day long. Uh, you can find Blau Frankisch at varying prices. Some may run upwards about $40 and others are more wallet friendly. Okay, even though I said this is going to be the top 10 red wines, this next one will be super quick. Number 11, Montepulciano. <laughs> I, I love to say that word too, Montepulciano. Uh, actually, that's the way the Italians say it. This is another medium bodied Italian wine with uh, medium high tannins. It's great with beef brisket, pizza, and a whole host of casual summertime food. Well, there, now you have it. Tennis phenomenal red summertime wines. Hang in there for the quick bonus at the end. But first, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. If you got something out of it, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and ring the little bell to be notified when I post other videos. And please share this video if it was helpful to you. I'd really appreciate it. All right, are you ready for the bonus? In number seven, I mentioned Chateauneuf de Pop and Côte de Rhone. I want to touch on those a bit more because uh, they're, they're wines that represent an entire category, a category that pairs extremely well during the summer. These are red blends. Frequently, a big bodied, big tannin grape like Cabernet Sauvignon is blended with softer grapes. Blending enables a traditionally big red wine to be paired with a wider variety of foods. You know, for example, uh, summertime favorites like grilled chicken and uh, shrimp pasta can go with some of these reds. You'll find that a lot of amazing red blends coming from France's Rhone River Valley and Bordeaux. Other countries across the globe are uh, following France's lead, making more and more blends. Those that have big fruits, which some call fruit bombs, are coming out of the New World, especially uh, Central and Southern California, uh, South America, and Australia. But those that are most food friendly are coming out of the Old World, most specifically France. Folks, as with all of our wines, it's important to note we have a limited supply and they may not be available in all states. If you'd like any of these varietals, click their link below and don't forget you can get a discount on the list price. Uh, enter your discount code ASTI Wines at checkout. Again, the discount code is ASTI Wines. Also, if you're going to order a couple times a year, check out the uh, free shipping option. That's what I do. Well, there you have it. Thanks for, again for joining me. Make sure you watch the other videos that I've talked about and remember to hit like and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.